And we begin our, our breaking news this midday. The Liberian man who flew from Africa to Dallas died this morning from Ebola. I'm Bill Griffith. I'm Virginia Shaw. Thomas Eric Duncan arrived in the U.S. at the end of last month. We want to take you live now to ABC's Marcy Gonzalez, who has been monitoring the developments in Dallas since news broke that Duncan had died. Marcy? And we've learned this hospital will follow the CDC's recommendation and cremate Thomas Eric Duncan. He died just before 8 this morning in an isolation unit in this hospital. His girlfriend said today she is angry that their son didn't get to say goodbye. Thomas Eric Duncan lost his battle with Ebola. I'm deeply saddened. Uh, this is something we prayed and hoped would not happen. This after his girlfriend told ABC News on the phone she was worried. I want Eric to be taken care of the medicine that he gave the other Americans that came from Africa two days ago that they gave him the same medicine. I don't think Americans, they are doing enough to save him. According to his family, this weekend Duncan was unconscious, heavily sedated and on dialysis with kidney failure at this Dallas hospital. On Saturday, Duncan was given an experimental drug different from the one used to treat the first two Ebola patients in America. And that antiviral medication given to Duncan had not been tested on humans. His family questioning if the health system failed leading up to this. First, sending Duncan home from the hospital when he initially sought treatment, only to be admitted via ambulance days later. Hospital officials knew all along he'd come from an Ebola-infected African country, but somehow that information wasn't shared. The hospital did not detect this right away, and that meant that he was not given the benefit of early treatment and he was sent in the community where he could spread the disease more. Officials are now monitoring some 50 people who came in contact with Duncan while he was contagious. So far, none are showing any symptoms. And meanwhile, because of Ebola concerns, federal officials announced today that extra precautions are being put in place at five of the busiest airports in the U.S. Starting with JFK this weekend, passengers traveling from West Africa will have to answer a medical questionnaire and have their temperatures screened. Live in Dallas, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News. Now back to you. Well, in just the last hour, the World Health Organization released some new numbers for the Ebola crisis, reporting 3,979 people have now died out of the 8,033 cases. And as Marcy just mentioned, today Homeland Security agents, <clears throat> excuse me, started inspecting travelers from Africa coming into U.S. airports. They're taking people's temperatures and handing out fact sheets <clears throat> that outline the symptoms of Ebola. Five airports are doing the inspections now, JFK in New York, <coughs> excuse me, Dallas outside Washington, D.C., Chicago's O'Hare Airport, Hartsfield in Atlanta, and Newark Airport that covers 94% of travelers from Africa.